Alchemist, Flying High, Part 2. Um, I, I'm just going to jump out right there and say it. Hey, I mean... Living. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Sorry, man. You jumped off the window on that one. No, I didn't like Flying High Part 1. I didn't like Flying yeah. High Part 1. So, I mean, it's not like the, he's infallible or something, but bruh, a couple of these on here had me like, wait, what is that? So, I don't know. Maybe Alchemist just touches my heart differently than other people. But I'd be loving these songs when these beats come on. I, I, I just gotta say, I mean, just this year, man. This year. I mean, he made Great Escape with uh, Larry June. He made, uh, you know, he had, I didn't like Flying High Part 1. I agree. Agree. It wasn't his best. But he got that, uh, you know, that Earl Sweatshirt album, the Mike album, and then now this Flying High Part 2. To me, I'm, I'm not going to jump out and say he's the greatest uh, producer of all time, but he's easily the best producer of this year. I think he wins that award hands down. Um and I, th- I think your boy has some has some uh, great beats this year. Yeah. So I don't know if Alchemist uh, if Alchemist is hands down. I don't know if it's hands down. Um, but I, the year I ain't over. Boy... Any album coming out next week or whatever. <laughs> 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 Alchemist might drop two more albums before the year ends. <laughs> I, I think uh, the Hit Boy, uh, you know, Magic, uh, you know, three has some, you know, good beats and stuff like that. But honestly, uh, in my rotation, I, I more more Alchemist comes on for me this year, like just songs from this year uh, than than yeah. Hit Boy songs. Yeah, I agree. I just thought Magic Three had um, like a couple beats on there that I just they won't go away. Like I love this feeling. Yeah, it's not going away. That beat will. Is going. I think that song is going to get played for me a lot. Agreed. Like, for a long time. So there's a few like What's that. that? Um, love this feeling. Yeah, I love this feeling. You, On that you, Nas were, album, you like that song? You did. You don't like Nas, yeah. man. This dude don't. What? Oh, man, I thought, I thought the I production of that beat though. I was just sample, asking, dude. Was okay. Like, cool. That sample be in my head a lot. Like I thought that was a fantastic, you know, fan, well, very well done. Um, one from Hit Boy on that. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, for sure. I, I think Hit Boy is the other contender, I think. But to Hit me, boy. the difference is, all right, so uh, the, just Hit Boy did it. He did his own album, right? He did the album with his dad, right? The, just this year, right? He did, did both those come out this year, right? His album. I think so. Yeah. The album with yeah. his dad. Yeah. Yeah. He had the Music Soul Child album. He had two with, uh, with Nas Drop. So that's a lot of work, a lot of work, and half the mini album that's coming too. So, oh, okay, we'll see who got the best. That that might, that might oh, that might the year. that will determine the year. Okay, I can't wait. So then that that will be the producer of the year battle. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> great. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We already know what we're going to be talking about when that comes out. So on this Alchemist album, you had the song Royal Hand with Gang with Oh No. You know, because Gang Green is Oh No and yeah. Alchemist. That's my, that's my favorite. That is crazy. Yo, when that song came on, and the flows, both of them have great flows on that song. Mm-hmm. Um, the last song with Currency. Yeah. Come on, man. Even that, even the, so, Action Bronson is getting more, he got more annoying to me. I don't really know. You used to be a big fan of Action. I was. Yeah, I was. His first, uh, I think, like, when he had Well Done with Static, and, um, he has some, you know, the blue chips and stuff like that. When those came out, I was a big uh, action fan. But after, but he, he got corny. I, I don't. I guess he got way more corny than like way more corny than he ever was. Um, I feel like he always only talked about food and, he, and women. I think now he's way more laid back with the stupid bars. So it's like, okay, like it, I don't like his laid back as much. So regardless, even that song, I thought the Vertigo thing. I was like, okay, this is cool, man. So I'm just. Alchemist did it that birthday freestyle that he had. Like, I, I just think the dude be killing it, man. I don't understand. And he must make a million beats a day. Yeah, and I was impressed with his rapping on this one. Yeah, I thought like even the song like uh Turkish Link by is you know just him holding it down solo. And I thought I still I like that song. I mean, uh I, I agree Vertigo is probably the worst song uh, you know, uh, on the album, and that's still, you know. Not saying much. I mean, these five songs are five great songs. 
you know, uh, every one of them. I, I, I played it on repeat. When it, when it started yep. going, then it goes into the instrumentals. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go back. I'm, I'm going to run that back. I just listened That's to it I mean. twice, straight up, straight up. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, play this again, play this again, play this again. So... I don't. I like I said, it happened. That's that's the difference. I, that's what I'm saying. Like when I hear the music that I like, I can't even help but play it again. Like it's not even. It's like a reaction. Like I'll stop the. I'll pick my phone up. You know, wherever my I'm driving, wherever my phone is. I'm like, yo, go back or press it back on the on the radio or whatever. Play that again, man. That shit was crazy. So I don't know how people could. You know, that's why when I hear these other like we like we talk about that Lloyd Banks, no emotion. Yeah. I don't really understand the big, what's different because he's technically fantastic. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's, is it because he don't have that he's lack? He, he's too technical. Is, is it? It's not too even technical. Black I, who is technical has emo, some emotion is evoked. But people say this about Black Thought. People, the people yeah. talk about Black Thought the way we're talking yeah. about Lord Banks. Yeah. People, yeah. people yeah. say that he's bland. That they, they, you know, whatever. It's you know, it's. Background music, or whatever, elevated music, or whatever they want to call it. I don't feel that way when I listen to Black Thought, but maybe it's it's similar in in a in a way. I don't I don't know. Um, to me, he doesn't switch up his flows enough. He doesn't. He just doesn't do anything int- like new or exciting to me when I'm listening to him verse after verse. Because I mean, the thing is, if you gotta have no features, it's just gonna be, you know. 16 at the 16 at the 16 at the 16 then those 16s got to be you know very good i mean you know like uh, ransom level bars you know and and uh i just don't think it he has so much more excitement exactly and, and it tones down it tones up it's it tells stories line. and yeah, has social commentary and has this yeah, and that you know yeah. and, you know has hot yeah. takes and and yeah i just feel like yeah. I get a lot more when I'm listening to his albums and and the, and the Lloyd Banks. It's it's just I don't know. It's just not enough like to keep my keep me interested. Perhaps the Alchemist, man. For a five song EP, I was like, this not coming out of my rotation. This like the Bread one. Did you see when he had the he dropped those a few years ago? It was like Bread was one of the EPs, and all the songs. I don't know why it was just called the Bread EP, and it had an album cover where it was just a bunch of pieces of bread all on top of each other. Um, and that EP was like super great. And there's like a song that I play all the time still, uh, is with Rock Marcy and Black Thought. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think it's, I think it's on the Bread EP. Um, like he just have, and then there's one on there with uh, with with Benny and Styles P, which is also like amazing. Um, so he'll just have these like random little, the EP would be like four or five songs, and the songs would be beasts, and you'd be yeah. like. He just throwing these away. These throwaways. These songs better. I don't know if this is. Do- I don't know if it's throwaways. I think this is just him wanting to rap. He makes his. He makes the EP for him to rap. Like this is because he does so many projects with other people on the beats, and this is like okay, I want to rap, and he he doesn't rap on other people's rap. songs. And he could rap, and he could drop his own stuff. I mean, he's had you know multiple solo albums. I just like I said, I, I'm just always impressed. I'm always impressed. Yeah. I'd yeah. be impressed more and more. Who's like, I mean, I don't know how, you know, he really got to be like 50, 40 oh. years old, something like that. He, yeah. It, the, the output is ridiculous. I mean, I don't know who else even has the output. And then it's the quality level is ridiculously high at, at all times. And it's different for different people, too, which is crazy. Exactly. That's the thing. It's different, different people. On each of these songs, there's five different songs, five different, you know, people. I mean, one song solo and then four different you know, uh, features and each one, the, the different artists, they all still fit. They flow on, on the, on the track. Like, like, you know what I mean? Then the Larry June album, I feel like the production on that is perfect for, you know, Larry June. And, and then the Earl's Earl album is like, like the best Earl album he's ever made. He's, he's made so different people's best stuff. 